Stop! Please! Holy oh, shit. Hey, what's up? This is Community Service with Greg Conan. That's me. Hey, man. Are we rolling? Yeah. You ever take a piss and it smells like popcorn? Yeah. I just did a popcorn piss. Huh. I get uh, fish a lot. Fish? Yeah. That's gross. <laughs> Your piss smells like fish. Sometimes. It depends on the supplements. Oh, the omegas. I don't even take those. That's the weird thing. Oh, okay. Well, I had popcorn piss right now, and I was like, what the f***? Why my f*** smell like butter? <laughs> <laughs> hey, man. I've been eating a lot of avocado toast. Healthy fats. <laughs> I don't know. Anyways, today's guest is... Oh, too soon. We're keeping all of this in. I got to thank the Patreon members. I got some new ones this week. Last week, we didn't have any. So this week, <laughs> thank you. Uh, Aaron Bakken. Aaron Bacon. You baking some bread? I don't know. <laughs> Ross Gallant. Nick. Just Nick. N-I-C. No K. Maybe Nick. Nick. <laughs> and they're all going to cancel their subscription. And Jose Corderito. Corderito. I'm sorry. <laughs> I had a lot of coffee. Anyways, I'd like to thank my new Patreon people. Uh, this Today's guest is my homie. I love him. He moved into my old spot. And he is funny as <laughs> Mr. Darius Bennett. Check him out. He's from Detroit, Motown. I grew up on Motown. My mom and my dad <laughs> love Motown. And he's old school. He's old soul, too. He likes all the old Buicks and Cadillacs and <laughs> like I do. We sing Tears of a Clown together, you know. <laughs> We're like, ooh, Smokey, the temptation, you know. Anyways, he is the shit. He is my guest today. Check him out on this shit, as well as his shit. It's all no. I love you all. Thank you. Tune in right now. We'll just start this over. Normally, I'm I'll doing. leave it in, but not that. Not that. Hey, you can leave that part in. <laughs> uh, yeah, 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 starting yeah. now. No. What's up, everybody? This is Darius Bennett, my very funny friend. And uh, that fool, I caught him doing his makeup in the car right now. Yeah, he parked man. about a half hour ago, and he's going like this. Yeah, he gotta, put a little cast oil on. You got to get your oils together, you know? <laughs> All right. LL Cool J over here. Hey, man, I'm just trying to be me, <laughs> baby. You know what I mean? We by the beach. You know? You never know who you going to see. Who might see you? What the fuck that sound? Hot mom. Hey, uh, you moved in my old place. I did. I you, did. You moved in that <laughs> shithole. Woo! <laughs> shit hey, no, he's a good dude. He helped me paint it, and we didn't finish yeah. it. And he's like, I'm over this. And I was like, oh, thank God. I've been <laughs> over this the second it started. Yeah, it was Painting's easy, work. Painting I used to paint a lot for my dad, but I was like a little kid and shit, you know? Mm -hmm. It was terrible. You yeah. know, the paint really not that bad if you do it often. You know, I used to do a lot of painting growing up. You know, and then in my teenage years, and then like my family's into real estate too. So when I was broke and needed some extra money, paint helping paint. Yeah. Yeah, I helped my dad do an apartment Where's complex. That? that little. Which one? Hand crank on the lower. This one here. Front side. Front side. Oh, this thing. Yeah. This joint. All right. And. uh yeah, labor sucks, man. Yeah. That's I was in construction for a minute, and I was in the union and everything. I still quit. You was in construction? Yeah, I was in the carpenter's union, but because I was the brand new, new booty, they put me with the laborers. Oh, yeah, you had bad hours. Oh, I was new just joint. digging holes. You ever dig a hole for eight hours? No. She was burying the body? What type of construction is this? No, it was a, a 22 story luxurious condominium complex. So it was. Oh, so you wasn't digging like actually digging? You no, they had me machine. dig. I don't even know why I was digging. It might not have been eight hours, but it was half my shift. And then I like went to bed and woke up like an old man, like oh. So I, everybody else had the 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 bobcats, and they was like, here, take this show. No, we were crit. we were the labor. They threw me with the laborers. There was like maybe. A half dozen labor laborers union. Yeah. And then there was like two hundred 
carpenters or maybe not too but like a, a lot more carpenters and then a lot of iron workers a mm-hmm. lot of sheet metal workers plumbers workers every union had a different you know team there but the laborers there weren't there was six of them all fucking mexican even me Damn. you know even though they, but uh family reunion yeah <laughs> They're all from Pedro and Wilmington, and uh, we did all the shit that nobody wanted to do. Okay. Like, we had to, uh, they're pouring uh, a floor. They're doing a floor a week. That construction's crazy. It's a 22-story building, and they're building a floor a week. Like, that's the goal. Pump concrete at the end of the week. Then they had the cement union. I don't even know what that is. Masonry? Mason's union? I think so, actually. I was right. Not the cult. The union. Anyways, uh, and yeah, that shit was gnarly, dude. And they were like, we would literally, uh, like, they would build a platform to pour the cement on. And then we would strip the wood plat, like these giant wood boards, like bigger than doors, twice the size of doors. And then they taught me how to carry one, like by myself. (laughs) Do you use any of the skills that you learned from the job? Actually, yeah, like rest shit on my shoulder in the middle and balance it. Like if you have a heavy item, they just... I saw a motherfucker carry like two, three of those wood planks that I struggled carrying one. And I was like, God damn, man, these motherfuckers are just strong. strong. Mm -hmm. Like that strength you just accumulate over 20 years of labor strong. Yeah. Like stronger than workout strong, you know? And and it was just like we would scrape the cement off it and strip the nails so they could reuse it and salvage what we could. Like shit like that. How long did you work? Was it like a. uh, I didn't last your 90 day. I I, I think I went like three months, maybe four months, and mm-hmm. then I quit to do this car show, basically be a roadie. I quit to be a roadie, and everyone was like, nah, you're quitting a union. I know it sucks now, but just keep doing it. Like, You get maxed out at like, what, 70 bucks an hour or some shit. Mm. Yeah, it's crazy. If you uh, okay. max out as a, I forgot what it's called, I think just master carpenter, and yeah. Damn. Construction man, unions, dude. That's we a need grown a union man job everything. right there. That's yeah, a big adult job, B. But I think it will. If it was, if I was doing construction like on houses, mm-hmm. I would have lasted. But that shit was gnarly, man. I was just sore like an old man <laughs> as, as a twenty-two year old. I was like, oh, four by fours like this. Yeah, I think the most I carried like this was was a tray of dirty dishes when I was a <laughs> server. Yeah, the bartender. Oh my god, that's it. You were a server. Yeah, I was. I a was server a clutch, indeed. dude. I remember yeah. one time I tried to carry too much and and like. I worked at spaghetti. It was like sauce and soups and, you know, just like in the movies. Like, uh, <laughs> it, like a cup hit an old lady in the knee. And she's like, ow. And I'm, like, I'm so sorry. Were you a server or like a food runner? I was a bus boy and then I was a server. Yeah, that's how it goes. You work your way up. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, I, I, I was also a mad stoner at that time. I probably told these stories before, but I was so high. I like put the coffee grounds in the top, pour the water in, click brew, but I didn't put the pot there. Yeah. And then I just left to take orders. <laughs> and it's the, it's the big bun pot, you know? It's like a yeah. half gallon of coffee. <laughs> it's just everywhere. And my manager's like, who did this? And I was like, oh, fuck. I was like, sorry. She's like, what's Hilarious. wrong with you? And I was like, I'm high, lady. I'm high. I'm That's high what you said. You're like, I don't know. I get it together. <laughs> no, my I didn't bad, say boss. that. I was like, oh, my bad. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Keep your mouth shut. You say I'm high in my head, and you go, oh, <laughs> bro, man. <laughs> I showed up high as hell to work one day, man. I stood at the computer for like five minutes. They like, where's the food at? Like, I don't know. I've been trying to find this shit on the computer <laughs> the whole time. <laughs> They're ready for their order. You haven't typed it in yet. Nah, I just went to the back like, hey, let me read this shit to y'all, man. Yeah. Just cook this. Yeah. <laughs> I'll put it in later. Yeah, fuck that computer. We're a pen and paper kind of restaurant. I wouldn't have handled the computer well. <laughs> hey, some people nowadays, like, you would go get something to eat at restaurants and they don't even write the shit down. They're yeah, like, what, what the you want? fuck are you? I don't you? know, man. They just evolved. They're crazy. Yeah. I'm like, okay. I oh, used to do that. Okay, when I Stephen go- Hawking. <laughs> I used to do that when I when I go to the club. I'd be like, "Hey, yo, what's your number?" Just to to impress them, and they give it to me. Like, you gonna you gonna write it down? You gonna pull your phone out? I'm like, nah, nah. I'll, re- I'll remember it. And then you never remembered it. I would remember it. You I would. would. I would. Re- I would repeat it like two or three times, and then I'll walk away for like five minutes, and I'll come back and I'll say it, and then they'll be like, "Yeah, that's right." I'm like, okay, cool. 
she gonna give me the draw. See, that's funny. <laughs> you, you get their number. Yeah, like, I didn't I, remember it every like, time. All right, I will never hit you up because yeah. I can't remember that. <laughs> I'm trying to show off. A couple times that happened. A couple times I felt stupid. Like I should have just Fuck. pulled the phone up. Yeah. Yeah, I w- I'm old school too. I remember the pen and paper. Mm-hmm. Mr. Cat, oh, get in no. the shot. Don't let him out. Get over here. I remember this one girl I hit it off with, and we kissed a little one night, and I got her number, and she's super cute, and I really mm-hmm. liked her. Get over here, Mr. Cat. And then she wrote her. Oh, you can open you the door. Get that. Get the shot. And then he, uh, Mr. Cat's smart. He knows how to twist a knob. Yeah, I see. And then she gave me her number and wrote it on a piece of paper, but she left off a digit. Damn. And I tried to call, and 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 then uh, you tried all the digits. I tried it. I couldn't figure it out. I couldn't get a hold of her. And then, hey, come here, come on. What's up, cat? And then, uh, and then, like a mutual friend was like, "Why didn't you hit up Holly? She really liked you." I was like, "I fucking tried." And then the ship had sailed, and it was in it never happened. With. Yeah, and then uh, coincidentally, years later, maybe like five, six, or not that long, but a few years later, doesn't matter, uh, I was on the dating show Next. Mm-hmm. Like, I was the guy competing. I, I was love. one of five guys competing for the girl, and on the same exact episode, she was one of five girls competing for the guy. Like the odds of that are astronomical, right? Like crazy. That's crazy. Yeah. And I was like, I made out with that girl like two years ago at a party. Did you go say something to her then? No, because it was it was separate. That's why it was so crazy. Like we were, that it was a separate day, separate shoot, separate everything. They just happened to pair our episodes together. Because on the day of shooting, for me, it was four or five dudes trying to win the date with the girl. And for her, at a different location, different date, different... It was her and, like, four girls trying to compete the date with the dude. Yeah. So it was separate. I'd have been like, hey, remember me from the show? Yeah, the girl that you tied me up with? I don't want her. I want the girl from the other <laughs> uh, episode. Can you give her my information? Okay, you can let him out. I feel bad. Oh, look at that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, dude. You're not in the... I mean, you're indirectly in the... We, Normally he hops up here there? with us. Yeah, he likes to harass a new kitten we're adopting. Oh, okay. He likes that. Right. He's that. He, he does, likes. He like bully. He doesn't even bully him. He's just trying to play with the kitten, but the kitten's so terrified. <laughs> he like, man, he's just trying to love you, bro. He's just going like this, and then she's like, Arr! yeah. They get. They make wild sounds. Okay. Why you get you, used to it. Why are you holding the headphones like that? Because it's squeezing my face, and I don't just, really like. Just take like them to off. Put them, you know no, I, mean? I kind of. <laughs> this is my blanket. You can take it off. Yeah. Can I keep it like this? Yeah. Yeah. All right. Cool. This is bothering you? No. I just like <laughs> wear them or don't wear them. You're just right. holding it. Just like <laughs> you know. If I break them, uh, my bad. Those are the Joe Rogan headphones. What does that mean? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I'm gonna see how they fit for like ten minutes. How you liking WeHo, man? It's cool. It's, it's dope, way man. Better. I like. It's way better, man. You talking I, about it's a shithole? It's not a shithole. No, I <laughs> maybe we use there. I lived there for eight years. Okay, well then it would probably feel like place. a shithole. I felt weird adjusting. I leveled up, and like a part of me wanted to be like, no, I want the smaller yeah. space back. This is weird to me. No, man. It's to me, it's about location. So where I was at, this is terrible now, location. Yeah, it was terrible location. He now it's like right near. He lived. In the hood, and I was like, "Bro, you live in the hood." He's like, "This ain't the hood." And I was like, Shit. "Well, where I'm from, I'm from Detroit, so that hood is different than yeah. That. It's not hood hood, but it, it's just not the okay. best. It's not the best. Like it's not the best. When, when I came home, it'd be late. I wouldn't mind it, but if I was to have company over, I would l- let me come down and get you. I don't want you walking up <laughs> yeah. by yourself. So I guess yeah, yeah. Well, the, but where LA I'm at now is cleaned cool. up a lot too. That's what I heard. LA used to be like Detroit. Bad. It, it used to be bad. Okay. Yeah. It used to be very bad. There's was, hoods everywhere. There's hoods in every yeah. damn state, every city. But yeah, where I'm at now, man, is by all the clubs, all the comedy clubs, so I can just walk everywhere. You dude, know? now that your biggest threat is a dude trying to sniff your booty. Man, I... <laughs> <laughs> So like I'll, I'll be outside like during the daytime and you see <laughs> I'll be out during the daytime you see all these these white girls you know yeah. just white women everywhere and then at night they leave and just be a bunch of dudes wearing the same clothes that these white women was wearing yeah. this morning yeah I'm like let me go ahead go in the house man yeah. 
<laughs> you know, y'all have a good lonely, time. If you get lonely enough, it's real easy to get. Get some man pussy you real get, quick. You get that, <laughs> get that fucking in your system. Be get like, that Let man me pussy. See what this dude talking about. They'll get you too. This is, sounds bad. We're getting canceled. You do whatever you want. You hey, whip it out, show. chop it off, do what you think. But they'll be, they'll put a hot the thong up real quick, you know, and walk down Santa Monica Boulevard. Go like, oh shit, look oh, at they that. Show and they go thong. like this. It's just uh, <laughs> Abraham Lincoln beard. You're like, oh shit. I'm not really a big fan of thongs like that. I don't like thongs. So that don't get me. Nah, man. <laughs> and then it's too late, and then you knee deep. Yeah. <laughs> you done fell. You done fell for the tip and tuck, huh? And then, and that's how you went gay. <laughs> yeah. yeah, man. It's uh, yeah, it's convenient because it's it's right near all the comedy clubs, bro. Dude, you can walk to all of them. That's yeah. shit. That's why I say yeah. It's like I'll take it, man. I'll take it. Yeah. So many times and I was rushing cheaper. to get I to the club. It's cheaper than you. It's think, actually huh? cheaper, dog. It's I cheaper. appreciate you, homie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah definitely. I could have ripped off some tourists. But yeah. I'd rather hook up I show, a homie. I showed it to my OG. She hasn't seen it like in person, but she's seen like pictures. You know, she's like, I love the area, whatever I was telling her about the demographic, what's around. You know, my old lady like it. It's so safe. Dude, we ho the fuck I've said this before. The gay boys, they got that shit down. Everything's yeah. clean. Every they just got you go east and it just the shit just goes downhill. <laughs> we ho the the middle divider has plants and flowers and and the and the and the cross rocks are rainbow and and it's nice it's nice it's nice they clean up they get they got that shit down nobody got kids everybody got dogs yeah <laughs> yeah yeah i might be the first one to have some kids over there <laughs> i don't have none yet but i'm gonna have some <laughs> we a family of seven yeah is there even any schools in we hope there's gotta know. be i don't i don't I don't know. Probably private schools. Very low key. That's so I've funny. That Is there? I can't think of any. I can't think of any. Oh, there's that one off of uh, Sunset uh, by the Sunset Deli where we go eat sandwiches at Trader Joe's. I worked with them at Trader Joe's for like eight years. Did I ever go with well, you? No, Santa you're Monica always nine. One time. You went once? Yeah. yeah. Oh, there's a school over there. So there's one school. But it is seriously like. Yeah, it's not. You still work over city? there? Yeah. Nice. I'm gonna blow up though, and we're gonna get him paid off this. We're gonna get this Hell unionized, yeah. get him some health care. <laughs> so he fucks his knee up. How long you been over there? Uh, ten years. Ten. They must pay pretty well. Yeah. If you over there they for really that long. Do. Yeah. Yeah, I did not okay. expect to do it for. They that hiring? Long. I need a yeah. job, man. None my, of us expected. Is, uh... They max you out at twenty four dollars an hour, bro, to stock bananas, oh, man. man. That's why I tell everybody, I'm like, what? hey, man, this is the ultimate backup plan. What's okay? the benefits like? You, you get, get a health benefits, insurance? Yes. Yeah, after three months. Yeah. Yeah. I got to go to the chiropractor, man. I'd be slouching. I don't shit. think they cover that. They're, I don't know. Didn't whack. you find something? I found a loophole in the system, in yeah. the stupid fucking healthcare system. Like, wait a minute. <laughs> We're healing a human being? <laughs> Let's stop this immediately. Uh, my girl, she got good health insurance. So I'm going to marry her for her shit. There you go. That's how That'd fucked up the American health uh, care system is. I had health care through a good company. I had decent health care. I go to I would always go to Groupons and get this is the loophole. You go to Groupons, you buy a chiropractic massage and neck cracking, you know. You get it cheap. It's like 30, 50 bucks. You know, for both though. An hour massage and a neck cracking. You know what I mean? Usually it's like one or the other. Mm -hmm. Anyways, I would just do that and just go here, go here, go here, go to all different spots and then never sign up, you know. The goal is to get you in to sign up. So finally, one dude Dr. Takahashi, I believe, he was the shit. He's an Asian dude. He's like, don't take ibuprofen. Take this ginger. He snapped your neck and goes, your power is on. And then you just <laughs> felt like a fucking million bucks. It was the shit, bro. It was the shit. And then he took my insurance. And not only did he take it, he took it weekly. So I was going every single week mm. for like, and I was like, I didn't know my back could feel this good. Yeah. You don't know you're in pain until you actually get help. You're like, oh, I'm fucked up. <laughs> and then after maybe like six, eight months of constant health care, it just, it was the shit. Uh, the health insurance company, not Trader Joe's, they were like, whoa, 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 whoa. We're like, we're paying money. Like, you know, and then they, they like said, you got to see a specialist. Then if the specialist says something's wrong with you, 
then you can go to the chiropractor. So I played their game. I went to the specialist. I was like, yo, my left shoulder's shorter than the other because I jumped off a fucking roof, shit face. I need this shit. <laughs> and also, I work in labor, and you're doing weird shit at low angles. Like, yeah, it's not even the heavy lifting. It's like the awkward shit, you know, uh, that fucks your back and knees up. And then they said, like, nah, you don't What's need What's the awkward it. shit? That like, just stocking a shelf in the back lower left corner, like, all twisted. You know what I mean? Okay. You got to stock all the shelves yeah. top to bottom. Yeah, it's you just... You got to go to the gym more often. I know, I know. I started a month ago. Okay. Still no results. Where are you at, Hidalgo? <laughs> no, I... I oh, back to construction. I was fucking... That was the only time in my life where I was, like, kind of ripped. I had, like, an eight-pack. Yeah. This shit was awesome. Oh, you had to do real work over there. Yeah. <laughs> I fucking ate, too. I ate the most I ever ate in my life. I would eat, like, dinner, like a full dinner, and then want another dinner. Yeah. And I'm, I don't eat like that, you know? Yeah, it's because you're moving so much. Was, so your body's it was like eight hungry, hours man. of labor. It was just straight up. Digging holes. Just sweating. Just I was kind of... I'm sweating it here, man. You don't I, have no yeah. air? Oh. No. <laughs> no. The air fucks up the... The, the noise. sound quality. What yeah. about the windows? You don't keep the. We could open them. I'm sorry. Chris, I mean, no, I don't want to change shit no, no, that no. y'all usually do. I, I sometimes I have them open, but they're doing construction on the neighboring building right there. You know them? No. Uh, yeah, want I'm me to go saying. tell them to stop? No, I'm just saying. Hey, man, you used to do construction. I get paid twelve bucks for this episode. Stop all work. Oh, there's a stopper there. Oh shit! Your coffee. Oh shit! Sorry. Damn. No spill. I told y'all y'all ain't had to worry about it. I'm I'm sorry, I got a diva anyways. over here. I got accommodations no, for no me. kitchen diva. Have you done the bathtub dishes yet? Uh, yeah, I did. Isn't shit. it the pit? <laughs> I did them for eight years, bro. You think it gets better? Right. It don't. Mm. It don't. But you know hey, what you got to do? You got to get some plastic where Just throw it away. Throw everything away. I couldn't. A hippie in me. I wouldn't do. I didn't yeah. break and get paper plates till like seven years in. I never. I could, I was like, nah, it's too wasteful. And then finally, after seven years of bathtub dishes, I was like, fuck this shit. Fuck this shit. I'm fucking destroying this yeah. earth. Yeah. And even then, I'd still reuse the paper plate like two, three times. <laughs> My girl be like, you nasty. I'm like, it's amoebas. It's good amoebas. Good amoebas. <laughs> germs, what's it called? You rinse Probiotics. off the paper plate. <laughs> amoeba music. It's amoeba music. <laughs> yeah, it is hot as fuck in here. Yeah. I was about to say it. Uh, but the beach, like... It's always 15 to 20 degrees cooler here. Because of the water? Yeah, just the ocean mm-hmm. breeze. But all that salt water fucks everything up. Like my keyhole is a little, little crickety. Is that crickety. what it is? The salt water? It is. No, everything. The cars rust quicker. You got to paint oh, more Oh, yeah, often. yeah. The, the salt definitely messes it your stuff It eats your shit up. up. Yeah. And then, then uh, but yeah, we haven't. I think there was one day we wished we had an AC, but it was like a hundred and six in the valley and like 85 here you know <laughs> so we could i'll take it so what is it going to be like like during the winter months when it's cold it gets colder so you need like space but heater? i'm yeah well there's a, a wall heater but uh okay. yeah a little space heater is probably cheaper yeah those things are great get a little 20 dollar lasco at walmart i gave it to my dad i'm gonna repo it <laughs> now that i have space i'm like repoing everything i'm like hey remember the tool set i gave you because i had no room for it give me that back give me that back <laughs> give me that back you blessed man you right by the water i Dude, feel like i, I wouldn't want to be anywhere else either by the water or in the jungle i, I like didn't drive house. yesterday i why? just because i just like why am i why would i every, I when to. i lived there i felt like i needed to go somewhere yeah and here i'm like i don't i don't want to go anywhere like I'll get a shot, be like, "Oh man, <laughs> I gotta drive." Yeah, I'm, I got an ocean view, yeah. and it's reasonable. Like, I didn't think I could pull this off. You know, I already told them the price. Like, there's two bedrooms for twenty four hundred with a ocean view or a block back. Shit, it's fucking nuts. Man. I don't know how you found this, man. I stumbled across it. God gifted it. Hey man, listen, I appreciate the place that you gave me. And then when you're ready to leave this joint, let me know. I gave this okay? to you. Too. We <laughs> this keep it in right. the family. Yeah. I always thought like I'm just gonna when I blow up and make more money, I'm like this is just gonna be the little vacation spot, like one in the city, one right here. Mm-hmm. The fucking ocean. It's up all retrofitted and get a goddamn AC for podcast. Yeah. Can't beat this, man. It's nice. I have an office. Do I look like a guy that would have an office? <laughs> I was wondering. I'm like, this, this is too small to be like a bedroom. Maybe it's like a, no, the a nursery. Or like a, this yeah. is the nursery for the kitten. 
Mm-hmm. <laughs> Who didn't want to be in here? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Who fucking hates it? <laughs> yeah. Did you get up at the store again after that shit? Uh, yeah, I got up a couple more times. Uh, you know, it's like a hit and miss that window, the fishbowl, whatever it was you want to call it. Big old miss the night we were there. Uh, yeah, it was. No, but uh, a few nights after that, I got up. It was dope. It was we cool. performed at the comedy store the yeah. same night, and uh, I'm pretty sure he was the only one listening to my set, <laughs> and I'm pretty sure I was the only one listening to your set. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, he was up front yeah. laughing. It was funny. So what it is is at the comedy store, the original room has a glass window. Mm-hmm. And the only way they could pull off performances during this COVID time is we're on the inside of the original room performing to the patio, the bar, through f- fucking the fishbowl, the prison glass. It's like fucking, you know, like it's it's uh, it's not Imagine good. going to like the <laughs> zoo and you see this fucking. Yeah. A comedian, performing. yeah, yeah, just in the glass. That's you a can't perfect even analogy. Touch we're in the zoo. We're locked up. <laughs> You're the patrons walking by, You're shaking keys at us, <laughs> and we're just trying. To, yeah, just look, look, it. mom, look, the fucking comedian. Look at the the artifacts. Oh, it's fucking what brutal. Used to be. Oh, so what I heard from all the door guys and and comics that uh, the that night we performed was like the worst night ever. Yeah, and of course that was my first time. Was that your first time? No, that was my first time. They said it was the worst ever. That was the worst. I haven't that been I've back. Had. <laughs> like I said, a couple of days later it was dope. Last night was packed. God, that's so packed. weird. They ended up getting a heckler. Heckler was just hollering shit at the, the window. The dreadlock dude. <laughs> Man, I heard about dog, that. Yeah, dog. Yeah, I, heard, just, I, heard, I heard Trey Stewart went in. Yeah, yeah, he went in on his ass. You know, Trey, <laughs> Trey from Detroit. What up, though? Trey, but, you know, Trey's he a nice his own. guy, but he he'll go at you. And yeah, he's from the east side, like me. But you know, he it got to the point they just stopped it. They're like, all right, man. Yeah, the cops we'll came. St- and they're like, all right, start this another day, man. We don't need another shooting here. Yeah, <laughs> we got to go home. It was a lot of people, man. It was nice. So comedy store trying to to have things come back around. Yeah, man. Me and then park shows, you know, did some park shows, some outside shows. You did yeah, those. I did that Pan Pacific Park. Is yeah, I like that. It looks bigger. Yeah, it looks like more and more. Yeah, more people starting to come. Uh, where been getting around town? I believe it was my homie Willie, Willie Simononini. I don't know how to say his name. Mm-hmm. Willie Simon. Yeah, I know who he is. It's funny, but dude. he's funny motherfucker. But he, he was, was there. Yeah, he we performed the same park show, mm-hmm. and he's like, I feel like tweakers were ahead of their time. Like tweakers were doing what we're doing right now for <laughs> yeah. the last twenty years. <laughs> yeah, we just caught on and joined the tweaker army, and I was like, that's so true. Yeah, that's tweakers have been yelling at audiences <laughs> for years. Park man. patrons. <laughs> now we doing it. Yeah, that shit. <sighs> we're fucking dogs are barking, helicopters are going by. Yeah, what we come to, man. Coronavirus. Coronavirus. Do you think it'll ever go back to normal? You think we'll ever be able to? I think the country will split and there'll just be people that don't give a fuck and people that are careful. I've been talking to people at home and like they've been going to the club, not like the comedy club, like the dance club, nightclub. That bitch fully packed out. Fully packed out, man. Oh, here? No masks. No, back at the crib, Detroit. Oh, like okay. Other places. Ohio, yeah, I heard all the way open. I'm about to move there. I'm over this shit. <laughs> all the way open, man. I think some places down south are open, too. They just partying. California is too fucking liberal, too yeah. safe. And I'm liberal. I always want. I always thought liberal meant like do whatever the fuck you want, but apparently... All this fucking don't smog kill. in the air, and they worried about yeah. <laughs> coronavirus. They should be, but still, man. You know. Liberal, liberal cucks, mm. you fucking! I sound like an old man now. I don't know, man. <laughs> I feel like it's a it's a couple ass. clubs that are open here because I've seen some some people in line late night going into places, and they dress like they're going to a nightclub. So, which is everything know. just drives me nuts now. I am official like like you can, you have to wear your mask at the restaurant, at the host booth, and the walk to the table. But the second you sit down, it's okay. You I know. fit. I, I don't know. Man. I got my theories about that. Cause when you eat, you technically don't. You typically don't eat with your mouth like open. Your nah, 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 you know. I'm rude. Just, what are you talking about? Yeah. <laughs> well, people generally, I eat like a savage too. But you know, you kinda, <laughs> people usually chew with their mouth closed. Yeah. And then they don't want live shows in small places because when you laugh, you kind of project spit yeah, and particles, you spit on whatever. Everybody, but you know, you know at this point. 
Yeah. It Let's just it die. <laughs> Everybody gonna die. One day, someday. Everybody wanted less traffic. Well, here it is. <laughs> well, here it is. No. Too dark, too dark. Just jokes, everybody. No. No, the less traffic is good. Less traffic is good. Not People being sick is not good, but as long as people are healthy in the house, <laughs> we good, you know? Stay your healthy ass in the house. If you sick, stay Man, in the house. Man, fuck this fucking world. We got comedians, like, trying to censor them. We're just joking. Man. Just joking. Dog, I haven't censored myself that much. I stopped using profanity as much just because I don't want people to uh, think I'm ignorant, but... Uh, yeah. Yeah. I did try to cuss a little less, but that's not because of the PC culture. That's just because I, I want to cuss a little bit less. When I get on stage, I curse as much as I want, and I grab my dick. That's perfect. I, I'm my regular self when I'm on stage, and then I get off stage. And... Every good performer grabs their dick. <laughs> <laughs> Even Sarah Silverman. <laughs> uh, yeah. It's just fun. It's what to do. It's just a fun thing to do. There's nothing better than just being on stage and doing whatever the being fuck Being free. Want. It is the last freedom of speech, and uh, these pussy liberal cucks have their way. It will not, there'll be no freedom of speech. Speaking of cucks, um, when I was at the comedy store, I asked this lady. She was with her dude. I said, y'all into cockles? <laughs> she was like, yeah, we're a couple. I said, no, I know you're a couple. You into cockles? <laughs> yeah. And she kept saying it. Like, yeah, we're a couple, like three times. And then her dude came back. I was like, hey, man, educate your woman, man. To tell her what a cockle is. She was like, cockle? He was drunk as shit. I said, oh, yeah. They might not be you're into like, it. You're like, can I fuck can- <laughs> your wife in front of you? That's a cockle. <laughs> That is the weirdest shit on earth. Yeah. Hello, sir. You look endowed. I would like you to plow my wife so I can watch in the corner yeah. and masturbate. <laughs> what? That's Man. my wife. Dog. My homie. <laughs> I he... fucking... Imagine thinking you like that and then halfway through you're like, I'll fucking kill you. <laughs> yeah, that shit, that's scary, I'll man. I'll fucking kill you. <laughs> she just She's snapped. enjoying this too much. She never, her lip never quivered like that with me. <laughs> yeah, man. My homie, he said She's he got propositioned by some lady, dog. What? <laughs> I've been with her 10 years. She never squirted on me one time. Man, I what? couldn't do it. I couldn't let somebody just go at my chick. I, I mean, couldn't I, I do would it probably either be the way. Other person. My I homie, he did it. He told me, I was like, how was it? He was like, man, I, they both came up to me. He was like, we find you attractive. And we want you to come, you know, hang out with us. And he said the dude just sat in the corner, like you said, watch. And then once he was done, he left. And then the husband went at it with his girl. And then the girl eventually, after like two or three times of them doing that, the girl reached out to him privately. was like, yo, I kind of want you to come give me some of that meat when my husband not here. And then the husband found out. And then he was like, you can't do that, babe. I got to sit and watch. Like what's the difference? <laughs> I oh, think she wanted that. Man. She probably was holding back. That's you know? such a weird universe. <laughs> she was holding back, man. She wanted to pee on him, like you said. She wanted to squirt on him. She couldn't do that when the old she's dude like, was. My husband didn't know this trick, and she's just pressing all the buttons. <laughs> yeah, that's crazy, dog. What the fuck? I couldn't do either. Like I would never. I mean, if I was on cocaine, I'd do it in a heartbeat. You know, I'd look for it. Where's the cuckles at? Let me, hey, sir, let me fuck your wife. <laughs> I just get punched. Yeah. Just searching for it. But sober, I'm like, no. No. Are you out of your fucking mind? Yeah. It's weird what alcohol and coke will do to you. You'll love that shit. Yeah, like, get, to, get that fucking in your system. I go. say it all the time, man. Yeah. You know, it's just like I, being drunk and high. It's just like I try to fuck everything, and now I'm yeah. sober. I just want to fuck everything. Yeah, I just don't, I don't pursue it. You know, it's just in there. Yeah, I. But you know. I don't even know if I want to say this, but I'm gonna say <laughs> it. I had uh, this sounds like a joke, but it is not a joke. I was uh, sh- fucking shit faced and high out of my fucking skull and sh- drunk and all of the things and this uh older woman much older woman was uh, much older is an old lady and then uh <laughs> she was after me and uh i was i was i was having it and mm. then i thought she was walking like sexy for me mm-hmm. 
Uh, but later, um, my boys told me like one of her legs new hip. was shorter than the other, <laughs> and she had the the the, the, the hibbity dibbity. <laughs> she had a little dibbity in her oh, walk. You man. thought she was doing that for you? I did. I did. I was so <laughs> fucked up. I thought she was just putting the twist in her hip, and then uh, I didn't know. I mean, I don't care, and it was, it was. I had we so had, what happened? we had, we had a great time. Good. Did she have a boat? No. Usually, <laughs> old women got something. No. <laughs> like yeah, an old a, ass <laughs> classic she car or something. <laughs> <laughs> she didn't have no boat. So she had nothing. No type. Yeah, she, she had a canoe. She just went in circles. <laughs> Snake just <laughs> fucked the old woman just cause. <laughs> nah, it just sounds like I'm a monster, but uh. I, she was the pursuer, and but I loved it. I ain't gonna lie. Good thing about old women is they, they know, know what they what want. The fuck, they're doing. And, and I was just, it, I felt like Ace Ventura, you know, in the movie. Like, whoa, whoa, like what's that trick? What happened? How many go rounds did you have with her? Just that one time. Two, or? two in one night. Okay. And it was in a park, on a bench. Yeah. And uh. And it was fantastic. This is where I feed the ducks. Yeah. <laughs> and it was, uh, yeah, it's still to this day, uh, some of the best tasting and smelling pussy I've ever had. <laughs> I was like, what did you do down there? What is happening? Oh, I was just like, this man. is this is nourishment. They don't make them like is, they used to, this man. This is sustenance. <laughs> Sixty-year-old pussy is the best pussy well, I've ever had. Granny needs to just come. kidding, just kidding, baby. Teach these yeah, ladies what's going on. It's just so crazy. Yeah. I was like twenty-three. Damn. It's fucking awesome. Anyways, I think the, the, I think the oldest me. that I had it was like twenty years, twenty years older. I was around the same age, maybe like nineteen, twenty. Yeah, mm -hmm. I think it's so different for like a young girl and an older dude. It's it's like I don't th I don't know I don't know I'm not that, but that just seems weird. But for like a dude, it's just what we already said. They know exactly what they want. Yeah, they don't they don't pussyfoot around. It's like yo, we're gonna go fuck in this park. And I'm just <laughs> like, all right, all right. <laughs> and then that happened, and I was like. What? What was that spin move? Like, <laughs> what the fuck? Anyways, I remember someone was walking their dog, and I was just like, kiss me, you know, because I didn't <laughs> want her to see that and stop. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. And I was like, the ride's over. Well, I guess I was. That maybe that was the whole plan. Maybe that was a cuck. That was the, that was like an inception cuck. You know, <laughs> she's like, my husband's gonna walk by with the dog in an hour. I don't know if that was a cuck. No, that was that just was a just guy like a, walking a, a dog gilf. in a park while I was shit face fucking this lady. <laughs> this shit face. <laughs> well, anyways, He's there goes my boy. network opportunity. <laughs> <laughs> that was in the past, man. Can't tell you past stories. I know. I was that. I was twenty. I was thirteen years ago. Yeah, everybody. Everybody has a past. Everybody slept with a six-year-old lady when somebody. Everybody did some shit. They not uh, with one of the happy with club mad you know, boots. What are those called? Orthopedics. <laughs> uh, yeah, you know some wild shit. That man. was the best club foot lady I've ever had. <laughs> 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 Anyways, uh, people judge me, but and then 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 they they won't do it. Now who's the judger then, huh? Mm -hmm. You'd be like, no, I can't. They just, you're the piece of shit. You gotta plow down. Full speed ahead. <laughs> Man, I don't judge nobody, dude. I did some wild shit. Mm. Mm. That's that cold brew concentrate. That's what gets the old latest story. Have I told that story before? No. Oh, dear. I've been holding that one it's back. It's funny you have a hot mom mug. Oh, too. damn. <laughs> she, gave me that. she gave me that. <laughs> she squirted in my eye and said, here's a mug, young man. Have at it. Have Hot at it. Hot mom. Hot mom. She's missing the grand. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Did it just get, it got a little, it got extra hot in here. We're laughing. Ooh. We're talking. Ooh. Oh, what a night. Do, <laughs> do, 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 do. I miss those adventures. I miss them too. I miss the good times. You know, I used to go to Hermosa all the time. 
Mm-hmm. Hermosa oh, that's fucked where up. All, oh no. The, well, yeah. Mm. Uh, but the the beach cities, they got lots of old wrinkly freckled titties that they just grab your face. And when I was push. driving up, I saw that. <laughs> yeah, I saw a bunch of old yeah. ass. Uh, that lady was rip. Well, it wasn't. I didn't see any women. But it was a bunch of Hulk Hogan looking dudes running. Oh like, yeah, those trying two. to keep up. Yeah, yeah. You get them too. And they get, yeah, they done coke too long. All of a sudden, yeah, they, they, they come sniff that ass. Leather skin, just yeah. orange like. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of Hulk Hogan looking motherfuckers over here. Mm-hmm. Beach boys, I'm gonna join them. You gonna join them? <laughs> nah. I'm gonna get that wrinkly, th- that little gobble gobble. Oh yeah, that's a sign of a good life. <laughs> you got that gobble gobble neck. You had a good life. Be all red and shit. Yeah, <laughs> a little freckly red ass. Yeah, that's I see funny. that a lot of white people. Yeah. Good old freckle puss. <laughs> <laughs> Boy, oh, you wild shit. man, man. I'm retired. I'm retired. That's good. Live to tell these stories, man. <laughs> these stories are good. These yeah. stories are great. Fuck anybody yeah, man, who don't like them, dog. Shit. Everyone's done. Everyone. This sounds so fucked up because you can't judge a person on their appearances. But everybody has fucked. Uh, a, a, you know, a cleft lip. I've not done that. <laughs> I've not done that. I've my homie thinks the girl I, I used to, one of the girls I've been with was a mentally challenged young lady, but I I didn't think she was. I thought no. she was like a. She just thought she was on scissor. <laughs> <laughs> she just looked. She just weird. on that lean. She, that's look, all. she looked a that's little different, but like she was, yeah. she was nice. Hey man, she probably broke her dick off. <laughs> She was nice. Anyways, um, hmm. how do we get out of this? <laughs> <laughs> oh, you got to sit in it. Somebody told me, don't try to get out the bomb. Just stick in the, sit no, in the bomb. No, this isn't a bomb. This is just a... Uh... Man, back in the day. Boy, uh, drugs and alcohol make you do some crazy things, won't they? Yo. Man, I read more now. What about, like, back in the day, you might... Do sleep with the partner that, uh, you know, was ugly as fuck, and then your boys make fun of you. Oh, dog. Okay. But now you're just like, yeah. So like, <laughs> I was so awesome. You know, but back when you're younger, you're just like, no, no, we didn't know. <laughs> I was drunk. I was super drunk one day, and I met this beautiful woman at the casino. I mean, she was fine. Body was was wonderful. Her face was beautiful. It was just gorgeous. Good personality, from what I remember. Yeah. Right. And so uh, she was like, "Yo, I want to see you. I want to see you too." But it was a snowstorm. Yeah. So she's like, "You should come over here." And I felt a little weird. I had my homie come with me. I said, "Let go with me, just in case this is a setup." I don't know her that well. I just know I was drunk, and she was kind of fine, from what I remember. I get there, and uh, it, she's over there. Another one of her homegirls, and I think two other dudes. And so we just chilling in her house playing cards, and then like she gets, she starts laughing, right? So we drinking, she laughing. I'm like, she must have some really big gums, because I don't, I don't see her teeth, right? And then I got real close to her to like almost about to kiss the woman. Mind you, she probably looks 34 at the oldest, and Rod has no teeth. <laughs> and I was like, uh. You, when I met you at the casino, you was like this. She was like, "Yeah, what you mean?" I was like, "I remember you with teeth." <laughs> she ain't had no teeth. Now, if she was old as Gladys that you had at the park, that makes sense. It made sense, but it didn't make no sense to me. I was like, "Yo, we got to go, man." I think I was too drunk. And if my, you my, lose all your teeth at that young of age, you on that dope. Yeah, it's when your teeth. She fall was. Out. A, I don't know what she was on, but I didn't want to chance it. Yeah, you know. And I, I was, I was drunk enough to holler at her when I first met her, but. That night I was just tipsy. I'm like, yeah, I don't even wanna. Remember Beer Fest? Remember that Beer yeah. Fest, bro? You think they would film movies like that with, or with that scene now? They no. wouldn't, huh? No. It's just it's some shit like that. Beer Fest is is a movie about getting shit faced, and then the guy like falls in love with this gorgeous woman, and he wakes up and she has a unibrow, no teeth and shit. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, man, let's be honest. Beer. There are beautiful people and there are ugly people on this planet. 
Hey man, you attracted to what you attracted to, you know. And, and I like both. Hey, <laughs> and I like both. <laughs> Some people don't Ooh-wee. judge. Wee, <laughs> man, Give but I couldn't. I couldn't get past on that snaggle tooth. Get I, over here. <laughs> I could do with a unibrow, but like n- no teeth, not like a couple teeth missing, like corroded, man, whatever. It depends what teeth. If it's back here, it ain't no thing. Yeah. Every, all my everyone got, has a tooth yeah. Missing she had back none. Then. If it's the front one. Ooh, no teeth, dog. I'm like, yo, you could have at least put them bitches back in yeah, when I came gotten, over. You could have at least got those waxed lips, you know, the little, <laughs> the little, in the, in the. See, the, like some people get too comfortable, even though it's your house. You just see, like you got your shoes off, you cool. But if you have veneers and we having this conversation and you don't have no teeth in your mouth, I wouldn't want to do this podcast <laughs> yeah. no more, man. I'm like, yo, I'm about also, to go. Also, you, you went to her home. I'm sorry, but like, uh. I would rather have teeth and no home than a home and no teeth. You know what I mean? I'll be smiling on the street. Man. I'll, I, I'll refinance. I'll, I'll pull out a second, third credit card, not pay it off. Give me the veneers. Nah, she was just comfortable. She was like, this is me. If you can't accept me at my worst, then you don't need to see me at my best. And How does she chew? Fuck it. Well, my she got teeth. She had to have teeth when I first met her. But she chose to be her mm. self. She took the wig off. I respect that. I respect that. And I wasn't rude about it. I was like, listen, I appreciate you inviting me to your house, but it's a snowstorm out there, and before it gets even worse, we're going to go ahead and go. All right? Now, here's some chicklets. Pop them in. (laughs) (laughs) Here's some soup for you. Here's some some soft-boiled eggs for you. (laughs) But yeah, I could do it. Yeah. My grandma didn't have any teeth, and we'd only give her hard-boiled eggs and biscuits because mm. she couldn't chew nothing. <laughs> my grandma, my great grandma, she was blind, man. She was able to maneuver around the whole house. She <laughs> a wild dog. <laughs> yeah, my nana yeah. was crazy. I talked about her a bunch, but she mm. would get in an accident every other month, and she just she had a a fucking like seventy two Dodge Dart tank. She had a tanker and would run red lights and would speed. And God, I have no idea what she had did. But she would just take off, just hit and runs all day long. Just pam. We took her license away and she was like, I'd rather die. <laughs> I'd rather die. That's all she said. Did not drive? Yeah. Damn. She's like, that's my freedom. She's like, you take that away, you're killing me. We're like, you're fucking killing people, probably. And then when somebody want to do something, they do it. Like, my great, like I said, she was blind and she would walk, we would walk to church with her. And she didn't have, she had a walking cane, but she didn't have a dog. She couldn't see anything, not at all, but was able to maneuver and just walk around and then didn't need any help unless, like, she was cooking. She needed to know the difference between, like, the salt and pepper. Like, what is this? Like, all oh, this salt. Like, she was there, what is this? Pepper. And then be the best cooking you ever had. Yeah. Like, how do you do this? And you can't see, Grandma. But like when you lose a sense, they say the other ones. Yeah. Heightened. So. Yeah, my uh, my grandma, both sides. I got lucky. The white side, she make like a fucking clam bake fucking casserole, but it was like out of this world, you know. But the Mexican side, same shit. She would just like a punch of this, a pinch of that, mm-hmm. no measuring, nothing, just pop, 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 and yeah. then it was the best food you've ever had in your life. And no one knows the recipes. And I was like, how the fuck did you do that? I'm telling you, man. They don't, oh, make, they don't make them like they used to, man. Grandma. Grandma Edu the best Damn. everything. Grandma's yeah. got the best everything. Apparently, the best cooking. Okay. Uh, let him tell it. The best smelling <laughs> uh, mm-hmm. vagina at the park. <laughs> that was somebody else's grandma. <laughs> <laughs> that was man. crazy. Yeah, dog. Yeah. Amazing. Amazing. That was my mom's friend. Who? The lady at the park? The one with the little with the hip. Dividy. Oh, man. I wasn't supposed to say all that. She don't know? <laughs> she knows. Okay. <laughs> How she feel when she found out? She hates that lady. <laughs> my mama tried to keep me away my from her. My mom brought friends. her to my birthday party, and that lady gave me the best birthday gift a man can receive. Oh, what was your gift? The best smelling pussy. <laughs> <laughs> one ki- anyways um <laughs> oh it's getting a little hot here yeah. it's, getting hot. it's getting hot for real i don't know people are like well 
I'm just going to be like Joey Diaz, you know. I got to just say whatever the fuck I'm going to say. How do your podcast like usually go like with other folks? Because this is my second time on it, and it's always like going to like some <laughs> raw shit, man. Yeah. Uh, I feel like we go there more so than with other people. Yeah, this is particularly risque Dicey. episode, I would say. Dicey. It's okay. Um... Yeah, I missed I missed comedy five years ago. You mm-hmm. can just talk and not be scared. Yeah. Anyhow, everything offends everybody, man. There wasn't Twitter, Twitter, social justice warriors digging through archives of twelve years of comedy, <sighs> looking for something, looking for thirty seconds to to edit and twist and skew to make you seem like a monster. You can spew goodness out of your heart 99% of the time, and then you say retard once, and they're like, get up, get up. I was like, I was helping them cross the street. I was watching one of Dave Chappelle's uh, specials on Netflix, the one he did in the belly room Yeah, at the uh, comedy store. He was basically saying, like, some of the meanest stuff to say is funny, but you're not saying it to be mean. Yeah, yeah. It's just funny. Yeah. You know, but people don't. I don't know, they don't get it. They, they don't feel get like it. it's offensive. Like, yo, that shit is funny. It's just, uh, I feel like most of the time, it's just an untalented, unimportant person trying to have importance and power. and Because and, really, that's what you're doing. You're like, I'm going to take this fool out. I'm mm-hmm. going to take him down. And uh, you're like, do you even know that person? Do you know what they are at their core? Do you know, like, you know, a joke's a joke. We all, you know, you hear those horrible bar jokes that are untasteful, but they're just bar jokes or whatever. Or, like, you know, it's just insanity. My most offensive jokes that I have, like, towards whatever demographic, I try to say it to that person's face or t- while that demographic is there. And I'll be like, is that offensive? Do you feel offended? Yeah. And if they say no, then I'm going to keep it. Or uh, I'm like, what do you think? Which, what should I do to make make it seem like I'm not afraid or I'm not picking on you? Like, it's just funny. Like, you can laugh at that. And then I'll take their constructive criticism. Yeah, I do, I do that, too. I, I have a, a joke about a transgender person. Mm-hmm. And then uh, it didn't come out right the first several times, you know, but I bounced it off my gay dude. I was like, my my a gay homie and he was like oh you can say it this way yeah and it's fine yeah don't say it that way and i was like because whoops because usually the <laughs> well, ones nobody saw it the first six months you know yeah a lot of times the people who are mad at you are not even the people that you're talking about it's just somebody who's like i got a friend who's yeah. trans and you're transphobic it was like no i'm not no nah, no nah. i nah. got it straight from the source I'm, no i had a boner you know yeah, that's not transphobic. <laughs> that's trans aroused. <laughs> Anyways, uh, how are you? <laughs> <laughs> Boner alert! <laughs> Boy, it gets hot in here. <laughs> <laughs> woo, woo. So this episode's not coming out. <laughs> <laughs> Hope Man. you got another hour in you. No. I do. Oh man, I do. I be wanting to hang out with people. I've, you know, I've, I always talk like this, but I've decided like, like I've heard Rogan say it and Bill Burr say it, like just, just do you, you know, and and you know who you are at your core, and and they keep going after Rogan. They're going after Burr right now because of his monologue. It's like you, what did he say? It's just fucking jokes. What jokes. Are, what, what, what was offensive? What are Towards women or some shit. He said shit. something about white women. That was the biggest, seems like the biggest group that got mad. Yeah, white Everybody, women. What a shocker. Uh, like oh, the, they, they took the, the woke term and just... Yeah, that part. Yeah, it came He over made fun and, of them for hijacking the Black Lives Matter movement, right? Well, yeah. it's wokeness. Yeah. The wokeness. And I mean, then, they say it all the time. I'm woke, stay woke, stay woke. And then... You know, uh, so, they called him homophobic because he was saying, "How did gay pride get the longest month? Mm-hmm. It should be. It should have been given to black people." And that shit was funny. It was funny yeah. as fuck. Because then he's like, "If you're gay and you're black, you just 
get to celebrate for I, 61 days, you know? And it was I watched brilliant. it twice. It I, was so funny. I watched it twice. And the first time, I I didn't hear him say this, but the second time, he was like, they're gay black people. So that's right. So he kind of tied it together. And he, was, he wasn't being homophobic. And he, was he saying, never... Like, and also, he never once mentioned that his wife's black, you know? And nope. He, which, he shouldn't have to. He shouldn't have to. But also, like, he could have to give him a little bit more... Uh, uh, sympathy to not piss off certain people, right? You know what I mean? Like, by mentioning that, it's like, oh, or I don't know what I'm trying to say. You know what I'm trying to yeah. say, right? Like, I don't uh, think anybody's really that mad, though. No, it's just stupid white women that are always angry at everything. And it's just privileged. Some stupid white women. Not well, all. I got me too in eighth grade. Nice. <laughs> I did. You got it out the way. It was terrible, man. And it wasn't fair to me. Want to hear the story? Yeah. All right. So, like, I'm in eighth grade. And what I'm, if I just said no? <laughs> <laughs> I would have stopped no. talking. <laughs> so, I'm, I was dating this girl, and uh, she was way more mature than the rest of the eighth graders. She had, like, 37-year-old titties. And she was my girlfriend, right? And I was happy. And uh, I was still a virgin. And... Um, one day I called her and she was like, I got to call you back. Uh, my grandma is calling me. That's how she paused, my grandma. So I called my homie, called my homie Daniel. I said, what's up, Dan? What you doing? He was like, nothing, man. I'm on the phone with, uh, what's the name? You know, I'm like, oh, okay. Why are you talking to my girl? And he was like, man, what you expect me to do, man? She called me. I was calling her back. I said, all right, you're right. That's when I knew I wasn't no player hater. I'm like, I got to check her. <laughs> so yeah. I called her. I'm like, yeah, I thought you was on the phone with your granny. You're on the phone with Dan. It's cool. You know, enjoy yourself. And she was like, well, Darius, he just has better conversations. I was like, oh, all right. Well, go ahead. You know, <laughs> we done, right? And so I, me and Dan, we were still friends. It was just I broke up with old girl. Eighth grade. So then I started dating somebody else in the uh, class. She had a regular eighth grade body, right? And, you know, but eighth graders are still frisky, whatever you want to call it. And so we get to playing around, me and my new girlfriend. And she was like, touch me. And so I'm like, all right. And so I touched her. But we still had our clothes on. My ex-girlfriend with the, with the grown-up breast saw this. And got mad. And so she went to the teacher. It was like, Darius is touching girls inappropriately. And I don't like it. And somebody should do something about it. Started crying. And then uh, the teacher called the principal. And then my mom got called. And then, uh, my girlfriend's mom got called. And then the other girl, people got called. And they was like, uh, they was asking the girlfriend, did, did he touch you? She was like, yeah. And they said, Darius, did you touch this woman? I said, I, she I, asked I, me she to. I touched my girlfriend titty. Yeah, I touched my, my girl. My she said, "Hey, touch my titty." I'm going through puberty. My ex girlfriend was mad. Touch the titty. And so they was like, "Yeah, you can't go on uh, the eighth grade trip. So you expelled until graduation." But I wanted to be like, "Did uh, Miss Hughes titties tell you she tried to uh, touch my penis last week? Uh, uh, the Halloween party?" Yeah. Huh? They, she didn't tell you that. No, she definitely was like. Can I? I'm like, nah, because I was scared. I used to watch porn a lot, and I'm like, man, she gonna think that my shit little. That's how I thought. And so I said, I bought nah. a penis pump. <laughs> <laughs> I did. So I was I like, said, oh boy. She I wanted know. to suck my dick. I'm like, no. I said, no. And she was like, all right, my shit was hard. I'm like, man, she gonna see that I'm a tiny little boy. Loser. But I'm a fucking eighth grader, so I don't know that these fucking <laughs> black yeah, and blondes dudes are fucking out of control. <laughs> nobody tells you that. Yeah. You're like, oh my God. So I got I me told too. you how I got a penis pump, right? No, you didn't tell me that. <laughs> oh, but then uh to finish the story, she ended up being like this uh this loose girl. It's always some haters yeah, out there. Not the girlfriend. She's but the, the one who hated. She ended up being like a very loose. Everybody had a chance. A harlot is I'm like, a, yeah, har a harlot. <laughs> is that appropriate? I think that. Yeah. yeah. Um, I don't know. Grand everyone says color. like slut shaming, slut shame. Like, I love, I love them. <laughs> I always fell in love. And it always was the ones that hurt you the most. Be you. They're just like, no, nah, that was that. We're done. I'm like, oh, <laughs> but I love you. It's too good to, it's to too lock down. 
They got to share it. Yeah. I fell in love with so many girls that would fuck my friends. So I was like, God damn it. Yeah. <laughs> that shit happened like, to me, man. I was like, I'm like, well, I love you. <laughs> bro, like, I thought well, I was I like the only you one. you and two of your homies. You a sucker for love? Yeah. I'm a sucker for love, but I'm not no, uh, like I said, when I'm a player hater. So when girls be like, I like your friends, I would tell my oh, friends. Oh, yeah, I don't tell anybody. I don't tell anybody that inside. No. I'm like, boom. Oh. I would. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I would suck oh, it up, man. Oh, gee. Hurts. That's how I would get over the shit. Get sick. Just like, oh. I don't like to see You secrets. had to take your top off in the jacuzzi at the party, didn't you? I loved you. <laughs> <laughs> I love those titties, too, but everybody's enjoying them now. Man, my, oh. my imagination yeah, is worse than reality. Yourself. So, like, I, I want to know. Like, tell me what happened. We're like, yo, I like her, but she likes you more. So you got to do it and then tell me how it goes. It hurts, okay? But I'll feel better I would once I know. I would just say nothing and just hurt inside. Yeah. Just take your licks. <laughs> That's my wife. <laughs> Damn. Damn Cockle. it. Damn it. Oh, that happened to me. Oh, my God. I lost track. Mm. Maybe upwards to a half a dozen times. You ever had a girl be like, well, uh, you the one who caught feelings. We was just having sex. Yeah, and those are the, always the ones I fall madly in love with. Yeah. You're just like, oh. <laughs> I used to what? be a good guy, dog. I re- I used to be, I, I used to write poems and shit. And I used to write these girls like nice love letters and buy them like Valentine's Day gifts and all that stuff. And then I would get played. And then I would just observe and start getting into psychology. And for some reason, these girls like the bad boys. The that ones don't who, give a fuck. That don't give a fuck. I, I literally would take girls on dates and take them to like parties. And I'm not even joking. Three times I would treat them right and dinner and the movie and the party. And then they would make out with my friend in front of me. And I was like, all right, I'm going to be my friend. Yeah. You know? <laughs> yep. And then when you don't give a fuck, they like you. And you're just like, this is so it's stupid. Backwards, man. And backwards. And yeah, I had my heart ripped out at me at least a half dozen times by the time I was 19. Yeah. I was just like, what the? And then you don't give a shit. And then they all, and then, and then they like you. And you're just like, what? <laughs> this doesn't make any sense. Mm-mm. It's the reality. And now I'm ice cold. <laughs> no, I'm still such a sucker for love. She kissed me. I love her. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways. Yeah. Nothing like a pink butthole. Am I right, guys? <laughs> Am I right? <laughs> okay, I might need to edit that part. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing like a chocolate starfish. Num, 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 num. <laughs> chocolate starfish <laughs> what is that a metaphor for nothing <laughs> a cookie <laughs> from trader joe's 199 organic <sighs> nothing like a mud pie oh that shit <laughs> <laughs> so that, <laughs> no it's a coffee it's a coffee ice cream cake with whipped cream almonds slivered almonds and an oreo cookie crust with whipped cream and chocolate drizzles on top 7.99 Oh, mud pie, I'll see you on my birthday. I'll see you on my birthday. I'm 37. Yeah. And I'm still... Okay, we're going to edit that part. Just bleep that word. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah. Anyways, uh, what else, man? How are you? How long have we been rolling? One hour. How many times have we been canceled here? Man, three Three times. Okay. Okay. All right. Okay. Who's calling me? Oh. Oh. Okay. Yeah. No, we've been rolling a solid hour and uh, we've been canceled 17 times. No, but this uh, bullshit of a world we live in is forcing me to be into politics and uh, everything. Uh, Basically, my thoughts are fuck both them motherfuckers. Also, Vote with your money. Money's where what seems to matter in this world. Yeah. This is just appears to be theater. Nobody none of them give a fuck about any of us. I never thought the president had any real power. I think they could sway things, but like 
uh, the power and the extreme immense wealth of this planet doesn't change every four years. There's families that have bought and owned this country since the, the beginning, and uh, and uh, it's time of us for for us to uh, wake up, wise up, and stop getting fucked by all parties and all sides. It's all bullshit. It's all bullshit. <clears throat> Educate yourself. Educate yourself on yes. finance. Educate yourself on politics. Whatever it is, even you don't have to really like get dive deep into these politics, but know what the fuck is going on. So if you do vote, know what's going on and yeah, make the decision whether you want to go to the polls or not. But <clears throat> don't be no dummy out here, man. Yeah, it's just it's just it's just uh, the options are like diarrhea and uh, turd. You know. Those are the options. Oh, I want the less of her of two evils. It's like, how about we get a good human? Mm-hmm. How about that? Mm-hmm. How about no raper and no child sniffer? How about that? Mm-hmm. How about two other options? <laughs> how about none of these motherfuckers? Everyone's like, you got to vote them. It's like, both them motherfuckers are trash. Terrible. They both are trash. Pew. Terrible. Terrible, terrible, terrible. I don't know, man. It's entertaining. Rather, terrible, terrible. I'd rather have Charles Barkley run this fight. Terrible, 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 terrible. terrible. Yeah, They're man. both terrible. That's awful. Terrible. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> anyway, yeah, it's just, it's just like vote with your money. But yeah, go vote too. But it's just like, uh, I mean, it's all bullshit. And the, and the real people running this planet are so fucking wealthy and bought up every politician it's all it's all bullshit and theater and go listen to some old george carlin it's still relevant it is and it's true and uh just think like there's not a power button that just goes up general electric has zero power now it's all in trump it's all in biden nah Dis all the all the corporations run this shit it's bought and paid for, and uh, if I blow up and get too famous, they will kill me. <laughs> Stay low key, man. Yeah, make your but, money uh, you know, under the they, radar. If they show me a bullet or some money, I'm gonna take the money. I like living. L I V I N. Living. Invest wisely. Invest your money in shit that can make you some money overnight. Yeah. You know? So no matter what the fuck happens, you're. Your money continues to grow. Have a little Bitcoin. Have a little weed farm. Yeah. Have a little CBD company. Have a little stock. Have a little stock in weapons. Because yeah. you know the bombs are always dropping. Yeah. Have been since forever. Forever, man. Anyways, darkness. Darkness is upon us. Mm. Let's talk about poop. Okay. Let's end it with a nice <laughs> poop story. End on some light shit. I, th- I you can't tell the same poop story as last time. You got another one you, where you shit your pants? Did I tell that? I don't remember it. It's a long time ago. Um, I shit myself when I was uh, at Little Caesars. Sounds new. Sounds new. I hope it's new. Did we did we tell that shit? You told story? me a doo doo story. Yeah. 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 We, that's how we end every episode. Um, I had to use the bathroom. And there was no tree around, and I was in a, um, it was a well-lit area, so I had to squat down and, and pee. I had to, like, pee real low down by the bushes, because if you pee in public, you get on the sex offenders list. It is true. That's, uh, the, you know it's what I mean? Up. Like, how are you going to get on that list when you're just pissing on a brick wall? Yeah. That's not... That'd be some fluke shit, man. People yeah. will try to attack you. They think you're a child molester. Yeah. They'll be like, no, nah, I just had to pee, nah. man. I, I peed on a tree. Yeah, so I was 18 when that happened, and then I fucking farted. It was a wet fart. Ooh. And then, like. Yeah, I don't remember this one. Yeah, and then, like, some <laughs> shit came out. I feel like I told this story, man. Because, like, uh, the beginning was me telling the story about when I used to work at the zoo, and this girl at the zoo, she shat herself because she couldn't find her mom. And then, like, yeah. her, her shit. I told that you story. Told that part, yeah. Yeah, and then, like, the shit was going down her leg. And the flies started coming, and then I <laughs> I made fun of this girl for like ten twenty minutes to my homies, and, and then, then we, it happened to you. Yeah, karma. I, yeah, yeah, that's what you said. Karma's a bitch. <laughs> that was the only Karma's time coming. I really 
shit myself. You can't escape it. <laughs> you can't escape it. Let yeah. me tell you. I thought, you know, right when it'll get you. It'll get you. You get away with crimes for 10 years and then, you you know, <laughs> you get four charges and you, you get better to get a lawyer. Yeah. I don't know, man. That was the only shit. To, the only time I really you only shit your pants once as an adult. Yeah. Oh, we never touched talk. I don't. I have peed to, on myself. Were as you an sober adult. last time you did my podcast? What year was that? I don't know. It's just like S- last year. I don't think you were. No. Remember, last we year forgot. Was. I forgot to ask you about that. I told that fool to get sober, and he did. I Hell love yeah. it. Let's talk about that. <laughs> shit. I love it. Yeah. So, uh, <laughs> damn. He was, he was, so back in December, yeah, I was I was, I was like, a wild is. boy, oh, you know. God. But for years, for years, I was a wild boy. But like this past December, I was telling him like I'm gonna, I'm gonna go on the cruise, right? I'm gonna yeah. get sober. I'm gonna you were a man of your word. You said yeah. I'm gonna get fucked up one last month. It's my birthday month, and I'm gonna get sober. And I was like, all right. Yeah, he, and then he, he was like, go on the cruise and just have fun. Don't be sober there. Just enjoy yourself. And so I went on the cruise back in December. I came back. He was like, you sober yet? I'm like, nah. I'm gonna decide to drink the rest of this year away and then I'm gonna be sober next year and so I got drunk every fucking day in December <laughs> dog every day was hammered moms came out to see me she surprised me during Christmas I'm like uh, I got plans to be drunk man I'm sorry you know I was fucking wasted uh, every single day up until like January the 2nd so January 1st came around I'm like well the new year don't really start until <laughs> yeah. like the second, you know. Nobody goes to work on the first. Yeah. And so um, January second, uh, I was the first day I was sober, and then I ain't had shit. Nice. Since homies, what is that? Ten months, something like that. Yeah. Yeah. Today's October. Yeah, yeah dude. Something That's like crazy. That. That's awesome, man. Mm-hmm. And your life changed for the better. Man, so much great things been happening. I got a, a, a better place. Cheaper rent, yeah. Closer to the uh, to the store and all the other clubs and probably. And if you and were everything. fucked up, I wouldn't have done it. Uh probably not. No, I, and, uh, I appreciate not. that. A hundred percent not. Yeah. I, was like, oh, I don't know. I've been getting like fucking mm. random he commercials. Gonna, he gonna pee on my plants. Yeah. I trust him. <laughs> <laughs> no, I wouldn't do no wild shit like that. But I would definitely fall asleep outside. Yeah. Got a Lose new the lady. Sleep on the porch. Yeah, man. I'm getting my shit together. My lady helping me with businesses and everything. Getting a business mindset. Getting healthier, I gained some weight and then lost it because I stopped fucking around with the gym, gym clothes, and then gained it back. And I'm feeling good, man. Got my license and shit in order. Yeah. Huh? Just had to forge some documents for you. Yeah. <laughs> you know? <laughs> this shit is good. Yeah. Yeah, yeah man. man. I try to tell these fools. I'm like, if I could fucking, uh, I was like, I never thought I would do it. And here we yeah. are, seven years in. Only thing with the shit being sober is like my homies still like to party and hang out, and I want to do that with them, but it's just I get sleepy, I get sleepy now. So like I go early and then I'm ready to leave at least like eleven thirty. Well, the loophole is you just drink, put a little meth in your water. <laughs> no, coffee, bro. Energy drinks. I don't is drink terrible coffee. Terrible for you, but uh, they they help. Well, at least, well. I got caffeine sensitive is, skin, so I gotta break out with that energy drink Caffeine too stuff. much coffee is bad, but yeah, I just, I fucking um okay then yeah just get a, take a nap take a little nap yeah. before you go. If it ain't about comedy or like any type of entertainment like acting on set, I can be up for twenty four hours. Yeah, because you know, that's what I love to do. But partying is like I used to love doing that shit. I can't used to chase love chasing girls. Do now it, it's like though. that like shit. If that was we, like my friends like let's go to this bar. I'm like that's a nightmare to me now. Even though that was my whole life. Yeah. Before now. Yeah. Yeah, the shit. Like, I go to, because they'll support me. I'm like, all right, you support me in my show. You ain't want to do it. I I'm going to hang out with you, you for don't an have hour to last. To. Exactly. I was going to say, you yeah. don't have to last all night. That's what I'm saying. Like, I'll I'm just tired, do a half uh, hour. I'll just pop in. Hey, happy birthday. Peace. Man, it's, it's been. Like, it's not for me anymore. And, and during the pandemic, like, when I went back to the crib, I would hang out with my homies. I felt like a hostage, man. Because because of the pandemic, nobody's going anywhere for real. So the Lyft and Ubers are nobody's out on the road so it took like an hour or two for one to come i'm like man take me home they don't want to take you home because they party and yeah drinking they want to get on girls or whatever i'm just like i should have stayed at the house it's weird you just get it's, my I mean, license it's, it sounds like a cliche but you just grow apart 
You do. You know, it's nothing like I still love my homies and yeah. and I will to the day I die. And but you just you we're just into different shit, into man. Different shit. Man. I do comedy and I'm sober. You get fucked up and watch football. I don't want to do that. I still watch football. Fuck all that. Yeah, well, I, I mean, still play. Like, yeah. If I watch <laughs> football, I would do that. But like, I, 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 you know, I watched ten thousand hours by the time I was ten years old. So I was like, all right, I'm never doing that again. Yeah. But yeah, you want to go to the beach? I'll go to the beach. Like, if we, if, if, if it's, we'll still hang out if it fits. But it's just like I don't fucking do that shit. I ain't going to the club. Is it a comedy club? Am I performing? <laughs> I'll go to that club. Yeah. But it's like I'm not going to the club. It's shit boring. It's done. Man, and man. and some people, uh. Uh, if you're freshly getting sober that's the hardest part is like divorcing your friends but not even out of like bad you know it's, I'll try to see them during the daytime yeah you know that way I don't let's know. go to lunch yeah. yeah I'll see them during the daytime so I, I always make an effort to go holla at them kick it with them cause it's like and then I don't put my sobriety on nobody I don't even talk about it unless somebody else brings the shit up so and then also too like most of the time all my old homies are chill and they get it but every once in a while there'll be one homie like man craig's changed he doesn't hang out anymore and i always just hit him with like how many attempts did you did you you could drive to hollywood you know what i mean you yeah. could come visit me you could go to my show it's like the fucking phone works both ways motherfucker don't put that shit on me that's yeah. you too 50 50 it is and uh i i've come out a few fools like that and they mm -hmm. just kind of go like oh yeah they're like but you're far i'm like yeah no shit why do you think i don't drive to you because you're far it's the same so don't be a hypocrite life goes on i still love you you still love me that's life you got kids i pull out that's on you bro <laughs> that's on you facials <laughs> I guess that's a good ending. All right, everybody. Thank you so much for uh, tuning in to Community Service Podcast. Please like and subscribe and do all the things. And uh, if you a hater, you go fuck yourself. And this is my homie Darius Bennett. He's the man, funny as fuck. Check him out at my old apartment. <laughs> 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 and I love you all. Thank you for everything. Peace. So that has been Darius Bennett, and he forgot to plug his button so this is a magnet slash bottle opener and there's a little hole for a keychain but uh he always says fuck the dumb shit he got a hundred of these made and i told him where's your name and he went oh shit and he didn't put his name on it <laughs> uh so he fucked up so help him out let's buy out the first batch so he put his name on the next batch darius <laughs> bennett put your name on your product bro that's branding coke don't have a blank can <laughs> motherfucker put it on the back i understand nobody wants a comic's name all aggressive on the front but put a little just you know your, your instagram handle a little he's stupid <laughs> <laughs> just kidding i love him he's funny buy his shit at darius bennett we'll link him and everything and now uh we're gonna do some plugs we gotta thank for uh sponsoring my podcast although it's been a long time since you venmoed me so i think i'm gonna stop saying this shit you know what i mean <laughs> where my money and uh sticker supreme you haven't been answering my calls either what's going on guys <laughs> i got some good sponsors and uh what a oh a comedy showcase app my buddy mark texts me right now acomb uh founder of the app and he said are you still alive because i've been dodging his calls <laughs> because i don't want to deal with that stuff i just want to do comedy and uh why would you bring me in on the business side of things <laughs> anyways uh, i gotta call him back after this i'll show you the text you think i'm bullshitting <laughs> uh comedy showcase app is a subscription-based app where right now all of the subscription goes to the comics and later two-thirds of the subscription We'll go to the comics. But right now, we're just trying to get this shit started. So if you like up-and-coming comedians who aren't millionaires and are painfully funny and to pay them for their funny, this is for you. You get a new clap clip every weekday. <laughs> <laughs> Comedy Showcase app only on iTunes because we're negative $5,000 and it's expensive. <laughs> soon, as soon as we break even, we'll then go to Android. But... You know what it is.
<laughs> Let's show you the text because it's just funny. Can you see that? Are you alive, buddy? <laughs> you think I'm messing with you? I don't like business. I like fart jokes. That's all I want to do is have some fun. <laughs> I'm, I'm, oh, I'm moving. I'm sorry. You got it? Yeah. Nice. There it was. Anyways, I love you all. Thank you so much. Like, subscribe, rate, review. Unless it's negative, then you could just go swimming with cement boots. <laughs> mm -hmm. And uh, fuck the dumb shit. Who made this? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I love you all. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. P oh, next week we got a big goddamn guest. You'll see. You'll see. Two thumbs up. I'm leveling up. I don't know. Okay, bye.